Uh, hello, my friends. Hello. Uh, nice to see you all. And today we have lesson number three about making summer tunique. And today uh, we will just finish to make this main part of our tunique. And after we will have few lessons about making uh, beautiful edging that I just created for you by, my, by myself. It's not from magazine or journal. It's just uh, uh, I want to show you my variant. And also today we will see fantastic result made by my friend Lynn from France. She used for this uh, three colors of Italian Visca, so we will have transition of colors. We will have a little bit another de design, but it's so nice to see such incredible projects, yes, made uh, by uh, another uh, people just to have great inspiration and create next something uh, for yourself. So let's start. And I will show you now just a few photos after we will talk about the uh, top part of uh, tunique. Yes, we will do new motifs. For my tunique I am using Italian viscose in white color and uh, it's very soft, high quality thread. Also I took crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters for this yarn and needle with big eye to high tails. We'll have um, yes, uh, a lot of tails because we join together um, a lot of elements, in my case 22 motifs, I think. We will see. And uh, like this. We already had two lessons about um, making elements. Uh, this is our main element, uh, Latia. And uh, lesson number second was about how to join these elements just during the work. When you are making last row, you can join second element to the first one, next third element to the first two uh, uh, mo motifs. And that's all. You don't need to make any connecting seams. Just during the work you can join step by step all elements and create very easy, uh, just beautiful tunique for yourself. Or even blouse, like we will see today. Uh, Lynn made blouse, fantastic result. And uh, uh, this is how it looks. We have beautiful leaves, small leaves, flowers in the middle and also during the work you will receive this really beautiful light and tender greets between elements. And that's all. Uh, everything is very simple here, but the result is really fantastic. I'm sure you will enjoy it. So if you don't see previous workshops, you can watch video records on our YouTube channel, JT House YouTube channel. Visit our page and just channel and watch these records. Today we have lesson number three, we'll talk about top part of tunique and now I will uh, work on it. So this is uh, my model of my tunique, yes, this is scheme, how I join motifs. And for today I prepared uh, just this uh, bottom part, uh, two rows. We have in total here six motifs in one row and six motifs in second row. So I joined uh, 12 motifs and I have now in this moment such work. We have joined in, in the circle 12 elements and this will be bottom part of our project. And it's really, it should be uh, loose because it's summer tunique. It cannot be tight. It's, it, it should be bigger, uh, in bigger size. And we have such result in this moment. Like I told you, we have 12 elements already joined during the work and I received such lace. So to this part, uh, step by step, I will join today uh, next this uh, motifs uh, to the top at the at the top of uh, tunique, and uh, let me show you what we have here. This will be we have here. Sorry, uh, we have here uh, twelve uh, how many ten elements, because uh, four we have at the front side, the same symmetrically four at the back side, like you can see on this picture. And also at the shoulders near to the neckline we have two motifs, one and second one. So in total to this top part I will use 10 elements. And now we can count. At the bottom we have 12, next we have 10, so in total I will use 22 elements. The size of one motif is 18 centimeters. If you will measure this one motif just from one corner to another, in my case I have uh, around uh, 18 uh, centimeters, like this. The same was um, the same size size uh, received lean during the work. So uh, let me show you uh, my hands. We will talk about these joinings, how to continue our work. Uh, so we already have 
this bottom part. It's very beautiful, soft thread, white thread, Italian viscose. And I during the work I joined three threads because it's very thin, and I use a small steel hook in size 1.75 millimeters. So uh, now I turn it all this work to the wrong side because I will join new motifs and I will join motifs at the same sides. So to this one I will join new motif, also I will use um, back wrong side, yes. So let me show you design. I prepared small just uh, scheme to show you here one more time how I will work. So, one more time, I just want to show you that uh, we have, in my case, we don't have this last row, we just have two rows here, and next I will join these elements. So, and um, at this part, uh, you can also make it longer if you want, just add one more row, just with six elements. Uh, in, in this case, you will have in total four rows, I have uh, in my variant three rows. And uh, now I will place uh, my motifs like this, so I will ha have half of this element at the right side. And I have wrong side of my tunic now. And this will be half of element here, and next I, ha I have full motifs. And uh, like this I will work and join new elements. Uh, now I prepare it, a uh, new element, and uh, I will show you now how it looks. Now we will start from this element. I will write this, this in this moment, this is element number one, and uh, we will join, we will have chance to join only two sides. We have in total six sides, but during the work, now I almost finish this element, I just leave two sides, because during the work, when I will finish the last two, uh, two sides, I will make joinings here and also at this part. And after I will cut the yarn. So, during the work, at the last row, you can join to this lace, you can join new element and cut the thread. After I will take, for example, this second element and I will join these two sides. Also, just during the work, when I will finish last row. And I will cut the thread somewhere here, yes, because I will finish joinings here. We don't, don't have this at the top element in this moment. We have only this part, we have these 12 elements. Uh, like this, so I will take new motif. So we have new element. I fix by pin my thread because this is the last row. I already ironed it, it and now um, you can see clearly everything is much more better to work and also you can see the right size of your element. So uh, we will join one side and after second side. Yes, and that's all. I need to join it between these two elements to these two sides. I will turn it because I will work, it's convenient to work like this and I will work first along this side after to another one. I will go so just remove my pin and start to make joinings. About joinings you also can see all information at the second lesson. Now I will repeat the same, just uh, we will talk about this top part. So uh, I have now almost, I finished it to make this corner. I have one pico and also I will make one more double crochet here around this corner after this I will start to make middle picot and during the work I will join this corner to, to this one so one chain loop now I will take the right side of this all part, big part insert hook to the middle of picot okay like this the middle of picot and make single crochet next one chain loop and after I will finish to make picot just insert hook below two threads and finish to make picot next one double crochet around this arch after picot from three chain loops and one more double crochet around the same arch so I join it together these two corners and after uh, during just 
look look to our schemes that we have in our free crochet patterns group and make next stitches so i will make three double crochet one two three stitches uh, next uh, picon from switching loops after uh, we need to make three arches from seven chain loops and during the work i will join each arch to the middle of these arches we have in total here seven chain loops so i will make three chain loops this will be half of arch and next make a joining to the fourth chains that we have here to the fourth insert hook make single crochet next one two three chain loops and make joining just around this just around this uh, arch of previous row we also have here seven chain loops so we can make joining to the middle also to the fourth chain loop so let's count and find this fourth chain loop okay after again one two three chain loops and uh, take this part another element and make joining one two three to the fourth chain loop by using single crochet again three chain loops and make joining to the middle of this arch one two three four to the fourth chain loop again three chain loops and the same one two three to the fourth make joining by single crochet one two three chain loops and uh, now i will make um, pico one two three pico the last point and one more chain just to fix this pico and now i need to make three stitches step by step to this area just one two after one two double crochet pick off from switching loops one two three one more double crochet now i will start to make this middle pico and i will make joining to to this corner so i made one chain loop and now i will fix uh, this yes Pick this point and just I need to make one single crochet to this pico to this corner one single crochet one chain loop and finish to make pico insert hook below two threads finish to make pico one double crochet next again pico from three chain loops and one more double crochet so in this moment I join it this corner is interesting corner because we have here three elements yes and uh, this corner is ready now we just need to join these two sides and that's all will be for this element we can join only two sides now in this moment okay so next continue to make uh, three stitches double crochet step by step one two and three after this pick off from one two three chain loops and now one two three chain loops i will again make a joining to the middle of these arches one two three four to the fourth chain loop make single crochet next one two three chain loops and make joining to the middle of this arch to the fourth chain loop one two three chain loops and make joining to the middle of this arch one two three chain loops and again joining one two three chain loops and joining to this arch to the middle chain just to the fourth chain make single crochet like this <laughs> hugs from corsica hi dear julia Hi Julia from Odessa. Hello Lynn, nice to see you. I will show your result in the end of this lesson. Uh, your fantastic blouse with transition of colors. So we will see these fantastic photos. Odessa, nice to see you also. Thank you for visiting. Uh, I am making top part of this blouse. Now I just want to show people how to join um, just a few elements at the top. 
and after we will have uh, next lesson very soon about making edging around the neckline so like this we need to finish this tunikis it's for summer just <laughs> okay next oh okay i forget about pico so also pico in the end of this chain from three chain loops and just to finish this pico i will make one more chain loop one more and after three stitches step by step one two and three stitches and now the last corner i will make joining to this corner um, and now i need to start first two double crochet around this chain after picot from three chain loops next one more double crochet and now middle picot one chain loop make joining to the middle of this picot insert hook and make single crochet next one chain loop finish to make picot make one more double crochet and the last picot one two three finish to make picot and make one double crochet after three stitches step by step one two and three stitches next picot from switching loops now i will just make um, just arches separate i will not make joinings to, to anything just continue to work and make arches from seven chain loops one two three four five six seven and make joining to the middle of this arch one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and just in the end we have pico from three chain loops and i will make one more chain to fix this work and finish just here by making joining slip stitch and one more chain and i can finish this work so i will show you now what we have i joined one motif just uh, i made two seam connecting uh, two joinings just during the last row to this side and next to this one everything looks great so we join it new element and now i will show you this motif that we join it i will just draw like red color we already have this element and we join it to these two sides next i will take a second element and i will join uh, these two sides during the last row during the work and uh, we will finish also we will have one tail after i will join third element and you will see this i also prepared second element i didn't finish it so i use pin to fix the thread uh, you should have in this element two sides not finish it because during the work we will make joinings like this so now i need to take the right side of this all work and make joinings yes so this is this one element and now i will make joinings to this side and also to this one okay also don't forget about the wrong side it should be everything at the same side in this way your work will be accurate so now i have one picot double crochet one chain loop in this moment first joining to this corner to this one check twice <laughs> everything is okay or not because it's really important to make everything right without mistakes okay so now i need to make single crochet to this point one chain loop and finish to make picot next one double crochet 
and one more pico from switching loops and again one double crochet uh, next uh, just like we did before three double crochet step by step after this we will have pico from switching loops one two three chain loops and to make this pico now i can start to make joining switching loops and join to this arch to the fourth chain loop make single crochet next one two switching loops and join to this arch to the middle by a single crochet one two switching loops and again make joining to the middle of this arch again one two switching loops and make joining to this part one two switching loops and join to this point and one two switching loops don't forget to make the last pico one two switching loops finish to make pico from switching loops and one more chain to fix this pico and next i will make three double crochet near to the corner one two I see comment from Odessa. Wow, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Yes, I enjoy to make this tunique and I prepare it uh, edging for it and I am making scheme for about this edging because I just uh, make my own design and this will be at the next lesson. And I really enjoy this work. It's not uh, difficult to make it and it looks really great. Uh, now I will work again in at the corner, so start from two double crochet around this arch. Next one, two, three chain loops. Finish to make pico. One more double crochet. Now one chain loop and make joining uh, to the corner. Okay, uh, joining uh, to this corner. So we need to join to the same pico. Insert hook where we already made one single crochet. And now to this point, I will make one more single crochet. One chain loop and finish to make pico from three chain loops like. This is the middle one and now double crochet around this corner after uh, one two three chain loops finish to make last pico at this corner one more double crochet around and we finish it to make it now three double crochet step by step two stitches of previous row next pico from three chain loops one two three finish to make this pico next one two three chain loops now we will make second joining these two sides we will join during the work <laughs> Yolanta I see a comment hi nice to see you I am making a tunic summer tunic as a top part I will show you now this top part just we join it first element now I I am making these two joinings join two sides so in total my tunic has like this three rows but it can be longer also so uh, just next joining so we will have like this three chain loops take first arch and make joining to the fourth chain loop one two three chain loops second part of this arch and take this element and join to the fourth chain loop at this arch again one two three chain loops and now make joining to this arch again one two three chain loops and make joining to this point one two three chain loops and again to the last arch make joining by single crochet one two three chain loops and now pico don't forget about pico from three chain loops in the end just add one more chain to make better this pico to fix the shape and now three double crochet step by step and now the last uh, corner where we will make a joining so start from two double crochet at this po point next pico from switching loops one more double crochet and now middle pico one chain loop take this second element and make a joining to the middle of pico after one more chain loop and finish to make pico next one double crochet and make third pico from switching loops 
and double crochet. Now just three stitches step by step, two and three. After picot from switching loops, one, two, three. And now start to make few arches from seven chain loops, four, five, six, seven. Join to this previous arch, to the middle, to the fourth chain loop, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And also one, two, three, to the fourth make joining. And the last arch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next arch from three chain loops, and one more chain in the end. And join to this beginning where we start to make the last row. We have here chain loops to the top one, make joining by slip stitch, one more chain, and we can finish this element. So I join it second motif also to these two sides one and two. So already I join it two elements do, just during the work without any connecting seams, just when I was making last row. I join it to elements. So let's look to the scheme. I will show you now this part. So I join it second element. And now we can join third motif. And for this you need to, uh, when you will make this element, don't finish this last row. You, you just need to have two, uh, three sides, yes? Don't finish them. One, two and three sides. And we will join this element. We don't have this one and this in this moment, just this and this and this one. So that's why we should have three sides, don't finish it, them and start to make joinings during the work. I will take third element where I have three sides, where I have it, let me see. Okay, I prepared this element and uh, now I will show you. So we have one side, we have second side, don't finish it, and third one. Uh, so it's okay. For this part of tunique, it will be nice to use this element. So don't finish each element because you need to make connections between them, between elements during the work. So now I have here picot, double crochet, I need to make two more, one and two. And uh, we will work at the back side again. Check twice where you need to join new motif. I know that I need to join it at this side. And I will use three sides. So I will use this side, this one, and this. This is my work. Okay, I prepared this part. I know where I will start. Now I will work at the corner and make this few stitches. Uh, two double crochet, next picot from three chain loops, next one more double crochet and after middle picot and during the work make joining. So one chain loop, take this right point, right corner, to the middle picot, insert hook, make single crochet, next one chain loop and finish to make picot. Next one double crochet around, one, two, three chain loops, this will be for picot and one more double crochet around the same corner. So we have first joining. Uh, next three double crochet, one, two and three. After make picot from three chain loops and now start to make arches. During the work make joinings. Now I have half of arch, three chain loops, take this motif and find this fourth chain loop. One, two, three, four. Insert hook, make single crochet next to one, two, three chain loops. And find here now at this motif fourth chain loop. And make joining by single using single crochet. One, two, three, again half of arch. Take this element and count. You need to find one, two, three, four. This chain, middle chain, one, two, three chain loops, and make joining here. Okay, one, two, three, and make joining one, two, three, four to this point. One, two, three chain loops. Now the last arch we should make here picot, one, two, from three chain loops, and in the end I will add one more chain. 
chain loop and now three double crochet step by step three stitches next two double crochet one two make picot from three chain loops one more double crochet one chain loop and now again joining uh, to the corner uh, we already have joinings between two elements so you need to insert hook to the same picot where we made first stitch first single crochet so to this one the same insert hook and make one more single crochet in this way you will receive very accurate joining uh, next one chain loop finish to make picot one double crochet and third picot from switching loops as a corner and one double crochet next three stitches step by step three double crochet and don't forget about picot from switching loops before you will start to make arches so now one two three chain loops start to make arch so to the middle joining by single crochet and again one two three chain loops make joining to this side to the fourth chain loop one two three chain loops and make joining to this part one two three chain loops and make joining here one two three chain loops and the last arch again joining to the fourth chain loop one two three chain loops don't forget about picot in the end of this row from switching loops and now three double crochet one two and three stitches uh, now two double crochet around the arch next picot from switching loops one double crochet and now one chain loop again joining uh, to this corner where we have already joined two elements insert hook to the same picot where we made first single crochet so again make single crochet and one chain loop more finish to make this middle picot one double crochet and after picot from three chain loops again so okay and now three double crochet two stitches of previous row next picot from switching loops and start to make arch so we join the two sides now the last one third side and just uh, again for, uh, you need to find these arches and join to the middle of each arch by using single crochet everything is very simple here just uh, start to make it it's really nice <laughs> and uh, nice to work on such projects they are very e uh, simple and the result is really beautiful i hope you will like it uh, now just again join to this middle to this arch one two three four and again switching loops uh, and make joining to the middle of this arch one two three chain loops now don't forget about picot like always in the end of last arch from three chain loops and one more chain now three double crochet and this is the last corner at this point we will make the last joinings joining uh, to the previous elements and almost we finish it to join this new element where we join it three sides so now the middle part double crochet one chain loop you need to take this corner find middle picot insert hook to the middle picot make single crochet next one chain loop and finish to make picot next one double crochet now the last picot three chain loops finish to make picot and one more double crochet around this corner after this continue to work make three double crochet step by step next picot one two three chain loops and now just few arches from seven chain loops fix to the middle 
chain in each arch of previous row okay again one two three four five six seven make joining by single crochet and the last arch three four five six seven don't forget about pico from switching loops and one more chain now joining to the first chain loops by slip stitch one more chain loop and finish to make this element so during the work uh, we join it uh, three sides first one second one and third so we have a really nice result beautiful grids like you can see just you need to iron everything and stretch so during the work we join it three elements i will show you now what elements we join it third element we join it and we join it this three sides now i will join an element four and I, for this I just need to make this element and I don't need to finish these two sides because during the work we will have this uh, two, two connecting yes seams, two sides to join. After this at the shoulders we have like two elements, uh, just half will be for front side, half, be, half will be for back side, so like this it works element 5 and element 6. Next you need to go to the back side and join also by using the same principles just uh, use uh, the same method and join uh, all else elements and you will receive the yes the ma main part of our tunic almost all tunic. Uh, you will have in my case I have 22 elements I have one two three rows and at the shoulders two elements 22 motifs and uh, size of my tunic is uh, uh, really big I think around 70 centimeters the length and like this and uh, here I, I think I have uh, 55 centimeters something like this each element uh, size of each element is 18 uh, 18 centimeters like this you can see what your your result will be and uh, just uh, this all you need to make and join before next lesson at the next lesson we will make beautiful edging around the neckline it will be very interesting and we will have few rows there also i am making a scheme for this lesson after we will have edging around this uh, armhole lines and uh, the last lesson will be edging around the uh, bottom of this tunic and we will finish this beautiful tunic for summer i really enjoy this project i hope you will like it too and you will make it at your home for yourself maybe for your friends or for your daughter or maybe for your sister i don't know for someone who want to have such tunique for summer from beautiful threads okay i hope you understand how to join this all and i will continue to work i will join all motifs and prepare uh, this main part of tunique for next lesson because after this we will make uh, beautiful edging so please work on it make your variant choose your colors choose your size uh, just uh, your system of joining elements because you can make it longer you can make uh, bigger sleeves and now uh, very soon i will show you results of lean it's fantastic result so i see comment from Yolanda. thank you so much thank you so much too for listening but don't uh, go because we have a really fantastic result made by lean and i want to show you this result now also, one second, I need to show where you can find these uh, free uh, schemes and photos. Um, I will show you my screen now and show you our free crochet patterns group, uh, where you can find all this information. Uh, so we have free crochet patterns group and um, you can find this by just by this name. Uh, free crochet patterns by Jetty House Crochet School. Uh, when you will visit this page, to find all important information, just press photos after choose albums. And you will see albums with our beautiful elements. Each uh, album is about one motif, about one lace, about one project. So we already finished it to make tablecloth, so you can visit this album and find all necessary information. Now we, we are working on this tunique, so this album you can find here with such element is our main motive press to this album just open it and you will see scheme uh, for our main element after uh, also you will find schemes how to how you can join this element 
also fantastic results of my friends. We can have we have here a result of, of lean made with transition of colors. Also, we have a result made by Yolanta Matson. Uh, also, with from fantastic yes transition of colors. We have just beautiful thread, a multicolored thread. It uh, looks amazing. So you can see such uh, beautiful results. Also, result made by Linda from Viscos, very tender and silky. So I love such results. And you can watch to this all photos take big inspiration. And after download scheme and uh, make also such fantastic result we have just made by Barbara, incredible, incredible result. So you you can see how how creative are my friends. So it's um, just uh, with made everything with big love. A look to this all results and create your own fantastic tunic for this summer. I hope you will enjoy this work. So don't forget to visit our free crochet patterns group. Press photos after choose albums, and you will see our projects. We have almost 50 different beautiful elements here. Just you can see all these pages. Just open each album and uh, download scheme and work with it at your home and I am sure you will create fantastic elements. For example, we have flower talisman, you can download this scheme and make such element at your home. It's my first outer motif. So join to our group and take a lot of interesting information here. Okay, now we can see, we can look to result made by Lynn. And you will see really fantastic work now. Lynn uh, was using this scheme. She joined more elements and uh, I can tell you now how elements, uh, how many elements, 32 elements she used. Uh, size of one element was the same, 18 centimeters. Also she received a length of her tunic, just uh, 70 uh, centimeters. And now uh, we will see this fantastic result, just incredibly beautiful blouse. She add uh, more elements to these sleeves, how you, you can see now. Also, she made a fantastic uh, edging by using my uh, just uh, uh, petals from Flower Talisman. Uh, so also she created a beautiful design of neckline. Uh, so it's a really fun, absolutely gorgeous result. I hope you will enjoy it too. We have more photos. Uh, so Lynn used Italian viscose in different colors. You can see this all beauty here. We have here three colors, just uh, change it by Lynn uh, step by step. Uh, and in this way, she received such um, colors, such beautiful uh, elements. And edging was made uh, by using one color, the last one, uh, just a violet. And uh, now you can see also uh, such presentation, beautiful presentation from Lynn. Uh, we have such a uh, tunic, it's incredibly beautiful. I really uh, was shocked by this result. It's uh, very interesting, yes, because I'm making white tunic and when I uh, saw this bright and beautiful colors, uh, I say, wow, <laughs> it's just fantastic. And a few photos more we have, like this. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. See you very soon at the lesson number four about making edgings around this uh, tunic and very soon I hope you I will see your results and uh, you will show me your beautiful photos a beautiful work Lynn from Yolanta thank you so much I am very happy that you like it too and thank you for all comments thank you for visiting this live lesson and see you very soon uh, on Facebook we will have new lesson very soon uh, thank you and bye bye for now bye bye <laughs>